Good afternoon. I'm Ken Lesser, the mayor of Wethersfield, and it is my pleasure today to be here with Doogie Sand Tiger, the Croc King. And we are so excited to have Doogie with us and to tell his story, which has a really unique Wethersfield angle. So Doogie, tell us your inspiring story. Wow. Wethersfield. So it's kind of, it, it goes back real deep. So I moved to Wethersfield in 2001. So I'm dating myself a little bit here, a long yeah. time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But essentially my journey started, I was in foster care. I was bouncing around the system, city to city, all across Connecticut, eventually settled in Wethersfield in 2001. And throughout those years of when I was a child, I didn't enjoy the foster care system and I wanted to make bigger moves for myself. I wanted to create a, a life for myself. So during my time in the foster care system, what a lot of people don't know, and I'm a huge advocate for, for the system, is kids go through it and there's a lot of things they don't learn. They call it activities of daily living. And it's simple things that or that most people find simple, but for someone who wasn't taught these things, it's not simple for them. And some examples are learning how to tie your shoes, uh, learning how to brush your teeth properly, bathe properly, uh, nail clippers, just simple things like that. Basic life skills. Basic life skills. And one skill in particular that I struggled with was tying my shoes. It was just hard for me and I couldn't figure it out. And as I got older throughout the years, I never really asked for help and I kind of got embarrassed. So how did that lead to Crocs? So once I was, so 16 years old, okay, I was, I couldn't wear Velcro shoes anymore. I couldn't wear slip-on shoes anymore. I think my peers were starting to catch on like, hey man, you're a little too old to be wearing these light up shoes and this and that. And I was like, they're kind of right. And I was getting bullied. So I needed to find an alternative and I was still too scared to ask for help tying my shoes. So I thought, what is a cool alternative what is an easy alternative had no idea and it just by happenstance I was in my neighborhood at the time I was living on Forest Drive so there was this old lady in our neighborhood just happened to be gardening and I'm looking I'm like what is she wearing and this is before Crocs were popular she was wearing this really cool lavender pair of Crocs I will never forget because it could have been anything it could have been Nike slides or something I could be the Nike King but there were lavender Crocs. I saw that they didn't have shoelaces. I saw the strap and that they were slip-on and also they weren't Velcro. And and I kind of was like, those are cool. Let me, let me get a pair for myself. So I went and I believe it was literally that day I went out and bought my first pair, plain black pair. 2007, you were around 16 years I old. I was 16, 16 years, years old, old at the time, yeah. yep. <laughs> so I know you have more than one pair today. Talk to us about how many pairs you have, how it, I, I think the Guinness World Records got involved and then bring it home what's happened in November. Sure. So as of right now, this exact second, I have 3,566 pairs of Crocs. It's always counting. Uh, it's always updated. I update it frequently. 3,566 <laughs> pair of Crocs. Correct. And you are the world record holder. Right. You have more Crocs than anybody, at least anybody we know. Eight billion people on this planet. Numero uno, me. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's cool. No, it's awesome. So that's so. why you're the Croc King. <laughs> Croc King. That's what the internet dubbed me. And you wear a different <laughs> pair every day, is that right? Multiple different Multiple pairs. pairs. Mul it depends on so if you're, what you're doing, when you're going out, you're going with friends, you're working, whatever you're doing. <laughs> whatever, yeah. walking the dogs, walking the dog, doing yeah. the laundry, it doesn't yeah. matter. But so how it kind of exploded into what it is. Yes. So I got that first pair and then it was a plain black pair and I realized, okay, these are customizable. These are cool. I like the colors. I needed a red pair to match my red outfit. I needed yeah. a blue pair. And independent of the Croc collection, so growing up in foster care, I needed motivation to live a meaningful life and yes. to kind of get myself going, going to school get and doing on your some feet completely. Yeah. Correct. So I started this bucket list of just fun things I wanted to do to motivate myself. Yeah. Goals, things I wanted to do. Fantastic. One of them was to break or set a world record, a Guinness world record. So I was like, you know what? Let me start collecting Crocs. So to uh, when you when you set a, a record, right? You need you can represent one. I've never set a record, so this is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah. If you ever go through one of the books, it'll say so and so from certain town, certain state. You're representative of that st uh, city, town, and state forever. So yeah. me being Connecticut, born and raised, I was like, okay, if I ever do set a record, if I ever do submit, where do I want to represent? And it was a no-brainer, Weathersfield. This is where I grew up. 
my whole life here. I went to Charles Wright Elementary. I went to Silas Dean Middle and then uh, Weathersfield High, class of 08. And uh, my whole life, my memories, every, all the good, all the bad, all the pretty, all the ugly, everything kind of just in That's between everything my yeah. whole life. So I thought there was no better place to, to represent and I'm happy to do it here. So. We are so excited. We're so excited in Weathersfield. Uh, we would love to claim you. We're inspired <laughs> by your story. Thank you, thank you. We have a world record holder. You grew up through very difficult circumstances and you've done something remarkable, which I hope that young people can learn from your experiences and growing up with adversity. Everybody has some adversity. You've had a ton and look what you've made of yourself. We're proud of you. You should thank be you. proud of you. And this is real exciting for you, but it's exciting for us in Wethersfield. So in a couple weeks, I think today's November 1st, November 15th, the Today Show's coming, and all of your Crocs are going to be at the Keeney Center? Keeney Center. And they're going to be kind of on the ground? There's going to be shelving, some shelving, some some um, uh, display tables and stuff, but for the most part, because there's so many, so and in many. order to get the accurate count of how many I have, I have to weave and in and out, and we got to work. condense all the space. So yeah. it, there's going to be, a, and it's a lot more than just Crocs. I got Crocs memorabilia and and Crocs apparel and trinkets, and they've done a lot of other things over the years. So this is fantastic, thank you. The last question I was gonna ask you is, tell me about the Guinness Book of World Records. Now you're gonna be, if I understand it, featured in the book, is that right? So I, I can't say when or how or what, all yes. I can say is that I will be submitting. Um, you will know when it's gonna be in the book, I will let everybody know, but a lot of good things are coming. Yeah, a lot of so good things we're are coming so with excited. That. We, we're so proud of you, and this is so exciting for you, but it's so exciting for us in Weathersfield, and uh, we, we can't wait for all the stuff that's gonna happen. So thank you thank very you, much. You.